हेलो एवरीवन आई एम अमूल्य असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन इलेक्ट्रिकल एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट साई विद्या इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इन टुडे सेशन आई एम सॉल्विंग द सिक्स प्रॉब्लम ऑन मॉड्यूल टू सो दिस इज द गिवन प्रॉब्लम यू कैन अब्सो हियर सो हियर वी हैव अ रेडियल नेटवर्क एज शोन इन दिस फिगर सो हियर द थ्री फेज फॉल्ट अकर्स एट अ पॉइंट एफ और एट दिस पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट ओवर अ थ्री किलोमीटर केबल a fault has occur so you need to find out the fault current that is if double dash and you need also you need to find out the line voltage at the line 11 kilo volt bus under the fault condition so this is the 11 kilo volt bus bar at this bus bar you need to find out what is the voltage at the time of fault occurrence so that is what you need to find out so if double dash and voltage at 11 kilo volt so here you have to consider a base of 100 mva 33 kilo volt in the overhead transmission line so this is the overhead transmission line so you need to consider 133 kilo volt will be the base value so this is a given problem so now we will proceed with the step so the first step is choosing a base power base voltage and the calculation of reactance and also we need to draw the reactance diagram here so here i have already written the first step the step one is mva base new is equal to 100 mva given in the given problem and kilo volt base new of the transmission line is 33 kilo volt so this will be the reference value so now we need to find out the base voltage of the generator 1 and 2 and also the transmission sorry the underground cable uh, this base voltage we supposed to find here so here you can observe the generator 1 and 2 this is coming on the lt section or a low tension section so the formula is kilo volt base on ht transmission line multiplied with low voltage rating divided by high voltage rating so that will get the base voltage of the generator 1 and 2 is 11 kilo volt same way using the same formula lt section we need to find the base voltage of the underground cable so now kilo volt base new of the cable multiplied by ht section that is 33 kilo volt base new multiplied by low voltage is 6.6 divided by high voltage is 33 so that will get the underground cable base voltage as 6.6 kilo volt so why i have used the lt section formula means this underground cable is connected to the low voltage section of the system or in the single line diagram because this is carrying a voltage of 6.6 kilo volt so this is to be considered in a lt section only not a ht section so now we are going to proceed with the reactance calculation of 1 and 2 generator t1 and t2 transformer and also the underground cable then the overhead transmission line so here you can observe i have done the calculation for generator 1 and 2 reactants we got the answer j 1.5 per unit similarly j 1.25 for the second generator so next i am going to proceed with the transformer t1 t2 also so the reactants of transformer t1 and t2 here it is j 1.0 and j 1.6 for the t2 so you can cross check for the primary as well as for the secondary side also especially the base voltage calculation make sure you are getting the same answer on either side of the transformer also so next we are going to proceed with the impedance calculation for the overhead line because the value it is given in terms of z not in terms of x so now we are going to calculate with the impedance of the overhead transmission line so i'll write z oh in terms of per unit overhead line in per unit so the given reactance is you can observe here it is j 0. Point, sorry 0.27 plus j 0.36 so that is a given reactance for the transmission line 0.27 plus j 0.36 multiplied with the length of the overhead line so the length given is 30 km so always remember when the transmission line or the underground cable is mentioned with the kilometer or the distance means that is also need to be multiplied with the impedance or the reactance value so here the length is 30 km multiplied by mva base new that is 100 divided by 
kilo volt base square nu so here observe for the transmission line or the overhead line the base voltage is 33 kilo volt so that value i'll consider here this is whole square so now after substituting this answer we will get the final value for the overhead transmission line as 0 0.744 plus j 0 0.99 per unit so next similarly we will do it for the impedance of the underground cable impedance of the cable so z cable per unit will be equal to same formula will be using because even the impedance of the underground cable it is given in ohm we need to convert ohms into per unit same formula I, I will be applicable so the given impedance for the underground cable is 0 0.135 plus j 0 0.08 multiplied with the length length of the underground cable you can observe in the problem it is a 3 kilometer so this 3 kilometer need to be multiplied again the MVA base nu it is always 100 divided by kilo volt base square nu so nu which value you have to consider means you need to consider the underground cable or the cable base voltage value so that is 6.6 .6 kilo volt so you will get the answer for the underground cable as 0 0.93 plus j 0 0.55 per unit so now the reactance calculation and the impedance is over so next you have to draw the per unit uh, reactance diagram by writing all these values in the reactance diagram so now we can observe the reactance diagram so we have uh, two generators are connected in parallel to a common bus bar of 11 kilo volt so here we have uh, two trans generators are connected in parallel then these two generators are connected to the transformer T1 and after that we have a overhead transmission line transformer T2 and again we have a one more underground cable will be coming so accordingly I have written the per unit reactance diagram so this completes with the step 1 so next we need to proceed with the step 2 and make sure that whether the system is loaded or unloaded so in the given data they have not mentioned any details regarding the load that is the power value power factor value and uh, um, the voltage value of the load it is not given so it is understood that the given system is unloaded so on that basis we will proceed with the step 2 so step 2 since this is an unloaded system so we can directly write VPF will be in per unit will be equal to 1 per unit and also the IL value because there is no load is given so the load current will be equal to zero so this we can write directly if the system is unloaded system so next we will proceed with the step 3 that is a fault current calculation so the step 3 is a fault current calculation IF so you know the formula for the IF per unit by using a Thevenin's theorem VTH by ZTH since VTH is always equal to VPF in per unit nothing but it is 1 per unit so now what we have to do for the calculation of a ZTH the same reactance diagram we need to rewrite by neglecting the source voltages sorry here I suppose to write the source voltage this is the generator one source voltage generator two source voltage so by neglecting these two source voltage we need to find the zth value so the same reactance diagram i have rewritten by neglecting the source voltage for the zth calculation so here the three phase fault it has occurred near to the a three kilometer underground cable so you need to mention that also this is the point where the three phase fault has occurred so now for the calculation of zth you need to simplify the given network so zth will be equal to now look at here these two generators are connected in parallel that is the reactance also will be in parallel j 1.25 and after that all these reactances are connected in series now now we need to add this but before that we need to convert this into a one single reactance by using a parallel formula j 1.0 plus 0 0.74 plus 0 0.9 plus j 1.6 plus 
zero point nine three plus j zero point five five. So now using this calculation, we'll write the final answer. Z T H in per unit will be equal to one point six seven plus j four point eight two. So you can cross check the answer after doing the calculation. So this is the answer for the Z T H. So here only these two. generators are connected in parallel so you need to convert these two into one single reactants so using a parallel formula after that the obtained answer you need to add with all the series reactances so then we'll go with the fault current calculation in per unit you know the formula that is vth by zth vth will be equal to 1 because this is an unloaded system divided by zth is 1.67 plus J four point eight two per unit. So now after substitution, you'll get the answer for the fault current as zero point one nine six at an angle of minus seventy point eight degree per unit. So this is the fault current in per unit. So next we need to proceed with the next step that is step four. So already you have got the answer, the fault current in Per unit, but what is the given data in the problem? They need to ask. They have asked the fault current. It should be in actual. So now what we have to do? The obtained answer. This is in per unit. You we need to convert this per unit into actual. So you know the formula for this. That is I F. Before that, actual current actual fault current calculation. so write the heading as actual fault current so now write the formula if double dash actual will be equal to if double dash per unit multiplied by i base so this value the same answer 0.196 at an angle of minus 70.8 multiplied by write the formula for the base current that is p base divided by root 3 into v base so here which base voltage you supposed to take means so for that you have to see the given single line diagram so here the fault occurred over the cable so the cable base voltage nothing but 6.6 base voltage you have to write so here p base is nothing but it is always the mva base new 100 and v base will be the underground cable base voltage 6.6 so here we'll write 100 into 10 power 6 divided by root 3 into v base is 6.6 into 10 power 3 so now we will get the answer for the i f fault current in actual as 1714714 at an angle of minus 70.8 degree ampere so this is the answer in terms of actual So now one calculation is over. That is the fault current calculation. But again, one more thing they have asked here. You need to find out the line current or the line. Oh, sorry, the line voltage at the eleven kilovolt bus. So you need to find out the voltage at eleven kilovolt bus. So nothing but. So look at the given uh, reactance diagram. So this is the eleven kilovolt bus. At this eleven kilovolt bus. so what is the voltage present under a fault condition so that is what you have to find so you know the formula for the voltage that is by using a ohms law v is equal to i into z so you know that v is equal to i into z so here already current is known to you that is the fault current but only thing you need to find z value that is the impedance value so how do you find means by using the same reactance diagram uh, from the 11 kilovolt bus bar to the fault point so that is we need to add all this reactances so we need to add all the reactances starting from 11 kilovolt bus bar to the fault point so that we will get the z dash value or the impedance value so now first we'll calculate the impedance so before that we need to write the heading to find voltage at 11 kilovolt bus during the fault so 
so now first we need to find the impedance value z so i told you this is the 11 kilovolt bus from here to the fault point what are the impedance and the reactances are present so all the reactance and impedance need to be added here so the first reactance is j 1.0 plus next is the impedance of the overhead transmission line 0 0.74 plus j 0 0.9 plus the impedance of the transformer 2 plus the impedance of the overhead sorry underground cable j 0.55 so now adding all this value we will get the impedance z will be equal to 4.46 at an angle of 67.98 degree per unit so now see observe here this is our formula for the voltage calculation so here z is known and i is also known in per unit so now what we have to do this obtained z answer we need to substitute with the i i should be in per unit because we got the answer of z in per unit so next i am going to write voltage at 11 kilovolt bus that is v in per unit that is equal to so current value that is the fault current in per unit multiplied by the z value or the impedance value in per unit so the if value in per unit that is here we have obtained 0 0.196 0 0.196 at an angle of minus 70.8 degree multiplied by the impedance value so this is the answer 4.46 at an angle of 67.98 degree so now multiply these two answers you will get 0 0.875 at an angle of minus 2.8 degree per unit so almost we have completed but only thing we got the answer of voltage at the 11 kilovolt bus bar but the answer is in per unit so what we have to do we need to convert this answer in per unit to the actual value that is the final answer to be in kilovolt so for that what we have to do means again we need to use the actual formula so v actual at 11 kilovolt bus that is equal to use the per unit formula here v per unit multiplied by v base so v base is nothing but voltage at the 11 kilovolt bus so that value you have to consider so voltage in per unit is the previous calculated answer 0 0.875 mult at an angle of minus 2.8 multiplied by v base value at the 11 kilovolt so now look at here 11 kilovolt is nothing but the generator 1 and 2 is connected so this value generator 1 and 2 base voltage is 11 so this value we supposed to write 11 into 10 power 3 so after that we will get the final answer in terms of kilovolt as 9.62 at an angle of minus 2.82 kilovolt so this is the voltage at 11 kilovolt bus so this is our final answer thank you